Hello, all my Capricorn friends. Let me get this organized a little better. I'm not sure that did it, but hello, Capricorns. This is Maxine Taylor, and I've got a gorgeous forecast for you. Um, also, I have the answer to what a lot of people have been asking, which is when my next series of astrology classes are going to be held. Um, well, I got it right here. Here's the chart for the class. Uh, October 7th at 7 p.m. If you have wanted to practice astrology, if you love astrology, uh, but you've heard tidbits from different sources and there's an, uh, a confusion in your mind because no two astrologers agree on everything. That's just how it is. Um, I have been teaching astrology since 1968. Uh, I love teaching astrology. and um, <clears throat> What I'll do is break it down into beginning, intermediate, and advanced planets. They will go sequentially. You can ask me questions. It will be really great. We do a lot of laughing and uh, a lot of uh, looking at things from a very simple, deep view. Uh, it'll, it will bring out your best. So go to my website, MaxineTaylor.com. Uh, you can shoot me an email right from there. Send me your contact information. So I'll call you back and explain everything that's going on that I'm going to teach you. Okay? There we go. Okay, now Capricorn. Ah, uh, this is so beautiful. First of all, let's start with Jupiter, the planet of abundance, of truth, of honesty. Wherever it is, it expands that. Well, it's in your sixth house of work, health, and service. And uh, Jupiter is one of the good guys. Okay, so even though it's in work, health, and service, it can improve your work and your health and your service, especially uh, with the 10th house triggered, but I'm getting past myself. Mars is what we fight with and fight for. It is in your sixth house, and you have been working, working, working to put some principle you believe into action. On the 4th, it moves into the 7th house, and you're ready to get out there and deal with the public. Um, in addition, there might be somebody special in your life, and you are throwing yourself into that relationship. Sounds pretty good to me. So you will fight with and fight for other people. And you'll attract people who put themselves first. Listen to what they're saying. They can tell you what they really need. Now, let's move over here to Mercury, the blue planet. Mercury's in the eighth house. Anything in the eighth house undergoes a transformation. Um, the eighth house deals with other people's money. It deals with secrets. Um, very, very powerful but it doesn't do anything. It's a thinking planet. It's mental and perhaps vocal. Your thinking is undergoing a change. It has been, and it's going to continue for a couple more days, say about a week, because Mercury moves into the ninth house of the big picture. Philosophy. It's not ideas. It's principles. And this is a time of long distance uh, travel for you if you would like to do it. Um, the problem is that with Mercury in the shadow of the retrograde, it feels like Mercury is still retrograde. And so it's, it's confusing. Everything is confusing. When Mercury goes direct on the 12th, things will simmer down. You'll see the whole picture. And you'll be able to put yourself in the place you want to be. Now, on the 26th, Mercury moves into your 10th house of leadership. 
And from there, you are speaking, you are talking, you are communicating. I love it. I think it's super for you. The sun, the yellow planet, is the, the giver of life. It's in the ninth house of the big picture of concepts and principles, the principles by which you live your life. On the 22nd, it moves into that 10th house, and you're the leader. I don't know what kind of work you do, but it doesn't matter. You're going to be a leader. Claim it. It's yours. And this will be on the 22nd. Uh, Mercury will join up on the 26th. Now, Venus, the lesser benefic, it's love, it's money, it's goodness, and it's in your 10th house so of career and so art and music and love can come into your career picture and I want you to take charge of it and enjoy it. So your public image is of a loving, beautiful leader. Sound nice? On the 22nd, Venus moves into your 11th house of humanitarianism philanthropic organizations, um, friends. It, it, it has a long range view. It's not the Venus that says, oh, I love you so much. <clears throat> Although that may be involved, but you're going to love working on a team that you believe in. Now, we have a new moon today, actually tonight in about two hours. I have two more sun signs to do, and then I'm turning this loose. That is the new moon um, in 11 Virgo. Find 11 Virgo in your birth chart, and you will see the whole picture. Two weeks later, on the full moon, we have an eclipse. It's in 25 Pisces. That's on the 17th. It's in the third house of communicating ideas. The ninth house, you're dealing in concepts and principles and beliefs. Third house, you're writing a book and a shopping list. You know what I mean? It's the practical ac application of the big picture. These are communication houses. So have a wonderful September and come on back next month. And we'll do it again. Until then, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours. Bye for now.